for you, just considering playing for this team, being a part of this run, and also setting the tone in this game? Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm a little cold. Uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. You, you can't really... You can't really put it all in the words, um, but you know the the most important part was coming out and setting a tone. You know, like I said, Will Will did a really good job. He called a really good game. We had a really good game plan, and uh, defense came out and made plays too. Um, and then you know when we get the lead there, I, I haven't done a really good job of of putting together a couple shutdown innings. So once we get the lead there in the first, uh, to get him right back in in the dugout, and then we add another one, and then put another shutdown inning right there. Um, it's kind of huge, just just overall. And then you know look at the play that Kike made there in the fourth inning kind of changes, I, I, don't, I don't know what inning it was, but kind of changes the, the outlook of maybe the way that inning goes, getting that out there. Um, so it's huge, but you know, being able to be here and have some, some family in the stands and, and see some of them beforehand, it kind of just lets you like relax a little bit and understand that we're, we're, we're playing a game and uh, so it's having some fun. With your fastball usage and just the command you had today, how did that just set the tone for you personally when it came to executing your pitches and using just everything else? Kind of. Yeah, it was huge. Um, being able to being able to use my fastball tonight was was huge. Um, some of the other thing, my slider was a little off early, wasn't able to put it over the plate, and then as the game went on, we um, were able to mix with everything. Um, yeah, you know, I guess like Will did a really good job back there, and he got some pitches for me as well. So, uh, um, yeah, all in all, good. Just just really just one guy after the other just feeding off each other. So it's been a lot of fun. Go to Clinton on the right, third row. Just to feed off of that, how, how good did you feel out there in terms of actual execution? I, yeah, I, 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 I felt good. I felt like I had uh, kind of figured some, some things out the last couple of days. Um, just just working through things. I felt like my stuff in against San Diego was OK. But even in that game, I was able to get some outs and put, put a couple zeros together. Um, and then was just able to clean some things up in my delivery and work on a couple things, work on my stuff. And, uh, yeah, um, you know, warm-up before the game felt good, felt good yesterday. Um, and just uh, then it just comes out to, to executing. You know, if you just work on the stuff on the days in between, you know, today just comes down to going out and uh, competing. Dylan in the front. Uh, Jack, uh, after game five of the DS, you know, Yamamoto kind of talked about uh, hearing from all his teammates and stuff, kind of helped him get moved past the – Game one start. I was wondering after like the last start, uh, you know, from a mental standpoint, uh, what you kind of have to do to, you know, what was the process of getting over that? I, you know, that's something that we have to do all the time, no matter what. It's no different than the regular season. Maybe just the stakes are a little higher, but it's no different. You got to be able to move on from from one start to the next one. Um, it, it, you know that the guys in this in this locker room have your back, and everybody's going to pick each other up, which is what went on in the last series. Um, somebody has an off day, somebody else picks him up, or, you know, you don't, somebody doesn't drive a run in, next guy's gonna pick him up. And uh, same thing with pitching. Um, and, and but on the pitching side, it's been more of just picking up where the last guy left off. Um, but you, you know that if, if the, the guy coming in after you has got your back, and, and that's why this whole team has felt, is that everybody is just, uh, just feeding off each other right now. You touched on this a little bit earlier about kind of that feeling of relaxation that you had, but right, I, you grew up here, you came to games here, you know, you're pitching the kind of game that I imagine you dreamed of as a kid. Uh, actually being out there, what, what does that feel like? What, what was that like? You know, it was, uh, I, I think exactly the way they put it, you know, I saw some, some family out there when I was, when I was warming up and, and when the, he, I had gone to games here with him before, so it was just kind of a, you know, lets you relax a little bit. So at least that, that's the way it was for me tonight and just not trying to do too much. felt like I had tried to do a little bit too much the last couple of times out in some big games and um, just allow me to be myself um, and just go out and pitch and, and trust my stuff and trust the guys behind me. As far as like best nights of your career, where, where does this one rank? Um, that's, that's tough. I mean, it, it, was, it was a lot of fun. I haven't, I haven't thrown a game one, um, thrown a lot of game twos and a couple, you know, in a game five, but um, a lot of fun to, to go out and and just uh, you know give us a one zero lead at the end of the day. So we still got we still got work to do, but uh, you know everyone did a good job. Go to the fourth row on the middle aisle. Jack, to to piggyback off of what Dylan was saying, to the dreams that you had about pitching here. Obviously, you pitched in high school, but to do it in an, a game coming after seven shutout innings, walking off the mound. Everyone giving you a standing ovation, 55,000 people getting that hug from Dave Roberts, your mom right there behind home plate. What is that feeling like 
putting your team, you know, in a position three wins away from the World Series. And then I saw later you did come out and embrace your mom, gave her a hug. What did, was that conversation? What did you guys say? Uh, you know, it's hard not to smile about those things. This, this game is fun. This game's a lot of fun, and uh, I've been lucky to do it since I was a little kid. And I'm still lucky to be able to do it today and be put in these positions, which is why I kind of try to describe all these games as fun. You know, as, as high pressure as they get, I just tell the guys it's going to be fun. And we got to remember that sometimes. And so, you know, walking off the mound, I usually am able to keep it together no matter what, even if it's the end of an outing. But um, I kind of had a feeling it was towards the end of the line. And, uh, um, yeah, it just uh, it's hard not to smile there. And then, you know, at, at least here, like, they had asked me to come back out. So I just I told my mom I was going to come out and, um, you know, just give her a hug, kind of the way we have been able to, um, looking back on high school or a couple other starts when, when I get the opportunity, just instead of, you know, waiting to meet her underneath or whatnot, if I can just go out, give her a hug, and, you know, tell her thanks for being there and supporting me. It's always, always important. Go to Bill in the second row on the left. As you know, growing up here, the Dodgers have always been about pitching, especially in the postseason. Who are the guys that you watched or maybe heard about from your mom or anybody else that would say, hey, this is what October is all about? Um, I, you know, it, it's – the, the answer is there's only one is, is Kirsch and, and um, re regardless of what people want to say about what his postseason numbers are, he's had a hell of a lot of good ones and he's been an absolute stud for the entirety of his career and getting to you know getting a hug from him afterwards and him letting me know like hey, that was a really good job is uh, is special and things that you can't make up but you know that dude takes a, took the ball every time every time he got the opportunity to in playoffs and um, had some really damn good outings outside of a pitch here and there. So that's the guy you look at. You know, he, he takes the ball and he wants the ball every time out. So you watch him and you get to be around him and you watch the way that he works and the way he goes about his business and um, is even just even more special. But, you know, I can think back on, on all those starts that he's had where he was phenomenal taking the ball in three days rest and and going out and, and still going six, seven innings no matter what. So that, that, guy's, that guy's second to none. And for you guys to get – I don't know if you heard the scoreless innings record for postseason. To have seven as part of that, does that put you maybe one step toward, hey, I'm making my mark here in Dodger postseason history? Uh, we got work to do. It's it's game one. It's a really good team over there still. Um, it's it, We'll enjoy tonight, but we got a quick turnaround tomorrow. Um, I'll have fun watching these guys go out and compete and uh, watching everybody come out of the bullpen or whoever takes the ball and watching this lineup go to work. And so we still got we got work to do, you know, like whatever the score is, who, who like you know who cares? It, it's great, but at the end of the day, all that matters is going out winning ball games. Go to the front row on the right. Just along the lines of rolling up here, how does seven scoreless in an NLCS at Dodger Stadium compare to pitching a shutout in a high school championship game at Dodger Stadium? <laughs> um, they, both are both are cool. Like there's just um, different settings, but like it's. It's it's great. Like I love it, but I just want to be able to give our team a chance to win no matter what. And uh, I was able to do that today, so I, I can I can look on it and say that that, that we did a good job today. And um, I'm looking forward to watching these guys tomorrow and watching you know until I get to take the ball again. So um, you know it, it's a really good team over there, and you know we had a good game one, but we, you know we got to come back tomorrow and and uh, you know keep our keep our foot on the pedal and uh, not not let up at all. We'll take the last two, both on the left side, standing up. Hey, Jack, Rashawn Haylock, KTLA. Uh, yesterday you mentioned being here for the 2015 uh, DS and thinking those are some special alarms out there. There's likely a kid that was out there saying the same thing about you tonight. Well, what, what's that kid kind of thinking and looking fondly at now? I mean, yeah, it would be fun. It would be fun to be out there. No matter what the situation is, no matter what the setting is, everybody, we all talk about it when we're you know, playing wiffle ball and whatnot. Growing up, I'm sure every single one of us has done it, and we all put us put ourselves in this scenario, and yeah, it's it's the same thing, same game. So, it's it's um, you just gotta look at it as fun and try to not make things bigger than they are, not let your imagination get in the way. We'll take one last one on the left. Just to piggyback on a couple questions people already asked, I guess Joe Davis made a Sherman Oaks Little League reference during the game. So I know there's a bunch of Sherman Oaks Little League kids in stands today. What would you have to say to them about getting here and what they got to do to get here? Uh, man, those are the days. Those are the best days that we had. I, you know, I still got my buddies that I played with 
Uh, saw a couple of them there in the stands. Just real cool, real cool having the support of, of all of them. But um, it just lets you know that you never know how long uh, those kids that you play with are going to continue to to be your friends. And I've been lucky enough to stay friends with a, a bunch of them for a long time, and some of my closest friends. And uh, it's just nice having that same support. Those guys are family, and um, yeah, it, it's it's great having them out there. And you know they'll be out here supporting. You know the whole team next the you know the rest of this series and however however far we end up going but um, it'll be today was a good day and uh, we got we got some work to do um, regroup clean some things up and you know get on with the rest of the series. All right, Jack. Congrats on the win. Thanks for coming.